Hello, Lou Engel here. And uh, I just want to congratulate New Promise Church, Pastor Kurt and Rhonda, 20 years of incredible, fruitful ministry. You know, I go to churches all over the, the nation, but there are some churches that, that are different. And the reason they're different is because the people that are in them. I've never uh, uh, rarely felt such love from a people. Whenever I've come, I just feel the lavish love. I love you, uh, uh, Tiffany and David. Privileged to marry you and um, gone through a lot of suffering. But a lot of glory is going to come out of it. Kurt and Rhonda, you've treated me like a king. You've loved me deeply. And I just feel just washed whenever I've been able to come there. And you know your heart's for God. I just love the house of prayer there. It's, I, I think your church is carrying things way beyond the size of the church. It's prayer that is actually, I think, it's upheld to Arizona, upheld your city. I want to encourage you all in these years of prayer, you're shaping history. I think of Louis McGeorge, the mentor, my dream mentor, man. I, I love you. And all of you all together, thank you for uh, being so faithful over the years. And I'm daring to believe for great days of awakening. We're going to see it and we'll all be a part of it and celebrate. I look forward to coming again and being a part of New Promise. We're looking for the fulfillment of the promises of God. Love you all. Uh, congratulations, 20 years. Hey everyone, so what brought me to New Promise was that when I was going through a dark season in my life, I was introduced to the Phoenix House of Prayer and it was a safe place where I could seek God and encounter Him and find healing. And what led me to stay was the people their humble hearts and their genuine love for each other and their desire to really know God. And what ultimately brought me to New Promise was really just God's great love for me and His wisdom in knowing exactly what I needed even before I knew it, um, which is to know Him intimately and to have a true relationship with Him. And um, New Promise Church is a place where He revealed that need and began to fulfill it and cultivate it. Hey everyone, this is James and Valerie Brown. Just want to give a quick shout out for New Promise. Uh, we came to the church about three years ago, I think. Two and a half. Two and a half. And uh, it's just been a blessing. We we love the pastors, we love the leadership and the community, the family feeling, the atmosphere of family. We always look forward to being with the people because of such atmosphere of love and community and the worship is so uh, amazing. So we thank God for a new promise and pray that God will continually fulfill his purpose in each one there. Hi, my name is April Webb and I've been attending New Promise for about two and a half years with my family. Coming to New Promise, I was very broken emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. And I was looking to meet Christ in a very real, new, and tangible way. The worship met me in a place of deep pain, and I recognized very quickly that they worship in spirit and truth. And I hadn't felt that in such a long time, felt the presence of God. And then looking around at the people, the pastors, just seeing how they love on people and seeing how people not only love Jesus, but they are in love with Jesus. And that is not something you find very, very often. Being at New Promise and just being in the presence of God and the people there just ushering in the presence of God has brought such great spiritual healing to my spirit to my soul and it's allowed me to think clearly and has allowed me to see Christ in a whole new light. Now I'm able to propagate the love of Christ to family members and other people in my circle of influence and I'm seeing that I'm more healthy emotionally and spiritually and I just want to thank the people of New Promise, particularly our pastors, for loving people and for being in love with Jesus because it has brought myself and my family such great healing. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hey, this is Rick Webb. I just wanted to take a minute to put together a little video to express my gratitude for all of the love that's been shown to my family and I. When we first were searching for a church after being in another fellowship for 17 years, we knew that God was calling us out. We were seeking something real. We wanted something genuine. 
And when we came to New Promise, we just loved the hunger, the unity of people seeking after God's heart, the praise and the worship, and the desire to just touch heaven. And when we came there, we realized that the people were genuinely loving on us, and it just healed our wounds. And we wanted to thank you so much for that. Now we are in a point in our lives to where we know that we are to extravagantly love others. Wherever we go, we believe love never fails. And I give and attribute all of that to you at New Promise and want to thank you so much for supporting us, for loving on us, and for helping us through a tough time in our lives as a family. You've loved on my kids, you've loved on my wife, you've accepted us, we are together a family in unity, searching after and seeking for more of God, believing that revival is gonna start at our church and spread throughout the whole entire country. And I'm excited for what God has for our future and just wanted to take a moment to thank you for that. Thank you again so much, we love you. Hey there, New Promise. This is your old buddy, Daniel Brimer. Louis tells me y'all are doing a 20 year celebration 20 years, wow. Nowadays, that's a long time for just about anything. When he told me that, I, I started reminiscing about the time I first met Kurt and Rhonda some 18, 19 years ago, I guess it was. It was pretty much love at first sight. We had this common bond with our value of worship and prayer, and that led us into a wonderful friendship and to several years of kingdom collaboration together there in the valley. We had some really good times. It's a lot of fun memories. And to think now 20 years later, y'all are still going after it. Wow. What a testimony to the grace of God and to leaders that won't quit. I say, Kurt and Rhonda, new promise, lead on. Here's to the next 20 years. When I think about how we got to new promise, I have to think about who I was before I got here. And um, that was 10 plus years ago. My body completely broken on multiple uh, prescription medications. I was uh, suicidal. I was depressed. I was so bipolar. It was ridiculous. Um, my poor wife uh, on the verge of divorce uh, seven times. We were probably at our worst at this point um, 10 years ago. And um, yeah, everything financially, just everything was just bad in our lives. Um, I don't even think my kids like me. <laughs> And so I was drinking all the time. I mean, it was just, everything was just bad. And it's through this little church, New Promise, um, my entire body has been healed. My life's been healed. My marriage has been restored. And so, you know, how, how did we get here? It's so crazy when I think about it, you know, uh, how God really led us here. And um, we felt called away from our old church. And there was nothing wrong with that church, but we felt just this stirring to leave. And, and we confessed it to each other because we thought it was so weird because I thought I would die uh, going to that church and they would do my funeral one day, you know? And, and it's just so bizarre. And, and all, she had the same calling. So we're like, we know this is God. And so we were going to leave our church and just start going somewhere else. We said, no, old orders are standing orders. We continue to go to our church, even though we didn't feel we belong there anymore. And God was calling us elsewhere. And we started trialing other churches. And we trialed a new church like pretty much every week for like, I don't know, a year. And God just, it was like, I'm waiting and waiting and God's just not confirming anything. And then one day my wife goes on a, a little mini vacation with, with our daughter and I'm at home alone and my nephew wants to stay the weekend, which is a no-no because he's not allowed in our house. But for some reason, Queen allows him in our home, which I thought was really weird. So I thought maybe, you know, something exciting is going to happen while he's there. I don't know what God was doing. And so I'm hiding in my office, Googling churches. I figured I'll just go, maybe I'll go uh, in different areas of the city, but I really felt like it was around Metro Center. So I get up to go in the kitchen to get a sandwich and out of the blue, my nephew says, hey, if you would consider going to another church, you should check out New Promise at Metro Center. And he, you know, I was like, you're such a liar. There's no New Promise at Metro Center. I know all the, the churches in the area. There's no church at Metro Center called New Promise. So we got in an argument. He runs to his truck. He was an ADT um, installer, alarm system guy. He shows me the receipt. It had Pastor Kurt's name on there and New Promise and the address at Metro. 
And I was like, wait, okay, so maybe they just moved there. You know, that might make sense because I've been on the internet like for a year now looking. And uh, he says, yeah, they just moved there. I just installed their alarm. You should go check out the church. And I'm like, why would you of all people be telling me to go to church? And he says, I don't know. There's something about the pastor. There's something about him. I don't know how to explain it. And so I went to the church um, and I took my son and my mom and it was one of these crazy prophetic days where Jake had a vision and all the chairs went to the side and everybody is, you know, screaming for uh, the ending of abortion and the microphone's out and I had never seen anything like that in my life. I never heard of anything like that coming from the churches I went to. And I was blown away. It was like, not the church we were looking for, like for that season. It was like the church we've been looking for our entire lives. It was the church I've been looking for my entire life. And I, I didn't even know what to do with it. I was freaking out. As soon as I left the church, you know, I called Queen and she'll tell you the rest of the story. But I was so excited to tell her, I, I, found, I found our church. I can't believe it. And it was through our nephew of all people. I'm coming back from um, a getaway weekend with Mia. And Justin had the boys for the weekend. And he sends me a text message as I'm driving back. And it says, I um, tried a new church out this morning. And I think I found our church. I think you're going to really like it. So, of course, I'm like, well, you know, what happened? What did they do? Why would I like it? And he says, they um, pulled the chairs aside and created this big circle. And they prayed for the ending of abortion. And I was like, that's it? Like, that's all they did was pray for the ending of abortion? There was no sermon or anything else? And he said, no, I guess somebody had a vision that they were supposed to do that. So they did it, and that's all they did. And I was like, okay, that's weird. You know, we had never been to a church or even seen a church or visited a church who um, had done something like that. So that was very unique to us. And I thought, I thought it was even more interesting that Justin actually would um, like something like that. Um, so I was like, well, where's the church at? And he said, it's at the opening of Metro Center. Now, when he said that, that totally stopped me because I had just met Josh Edwards. Um, though, I don't know, the word of the week before. He came into the office because he was going to take Tiffany out for lunch. And I was working with Tiffany at the time. And I did know that her parents were pastoring a church, but she had never really like talked about the church or mentioned the church. Um, but he had mentioned that he was in the process of moving them from the old building to the new building at the opening of Metro Center. And so when Justin said the exact same words that Josh said a few days before that, I thought, okay, how many possible churches can there be at the opening of Metro Center? There's no way there could be more than one. It's such an obscure place, number one. And number two is, that's such a in my mind, unique phrase that people would use to describe that. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that's got to be Tiffany's church. So it's actually um, Labor Day weekend, so I had to wait like till Tuesday before I could go in the office and ask Tiffany, um, you know, if that was her church. So I go running in the office Tuesday morning and I see her and I'm like, Tiffany, Tiffany, what did your church do on Sunday? What were you guys doing on Sunday? And she says, well, we uh, got into a prayer circle and we prayed for the ending of abortion. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was your church. It was your church. That was Justin at your church. He was the one who came with his elderly grandma and our three boys. And Tiffany was like, oh my gosh, that's the family that came? So, um, yeah, because they totally saw him and, you know, met him and stuff and didn't know he was my husband. And meanwhile, he didn't know that Tiffany was uh, working with me at Crisis Pregnancy Centers. So it was um, a very random, you know, coincidence there. But... I was very jealous that Justin got to go there first and I didn't get to be there, but we went the following Sunday and I don't remember who spoke or what the message was. I don't remember who I met, um, but I know that, you know, when we went, we knew that that was where we were going to go and that was definitely our church. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary New, New Promise. Promise. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for yes. starting the church, New Promise. We love you guys. It is amazing. Thank you for always going after the presence and creating a place that we can seek God. Um, it's changed my life forever. Yes, we love what you guys have built through the years, and we know it's hard, hard work and constant sewing and loving people well. And you guys are such a model of doing that so well. Yeah. So we are uh, so excited for you guys and so thankful uh, to be part of uh, your family, literally, yeah. and yeah. in the body of Christ. So 
Thank you so much. We love you guys. Yeah. We send you all our love and blessing. We celebrate with you guys. Happy anniversary. My name is Christy Jo Thornton. Most people at the church know me as KJ. And I've been attending New Promise for almost 20 years. I got saved March 3rd, 1999. And I was actually kind of brought into the church through their middle daughter, Kara. She befriended me in high school and in college. And I remember her kind of encouraging me and to attend her parents' church. She kept telling me, my parents have a church. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, church is not my thing. I will never attend a church. But I'll listen to what you say about God and I'll watch your life. And by watching her life and even seeing Pastor Kurt and Rhonda live theirs, I noticed something different. I noticed how they were so set apart. And I noticed how every time they prayed, their prayers were answered. And they had this relationship with God that I, I kind of craved. Well, through Rhonda having a women's Bible study at the church, I said, hmm, I think I can attend that because that's not going to church. I can do that. Okay. So I attended the women's Bible study and I had a lot of questions for God and he answered every single one of them. And through that Bible study, I realized the, the realness of God and the relational side of him. Um, it impacted me immensely. And through that, I started attending new problems. And I haven't left since. <laughs> they can't seem to get rid of me. So I love my church. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't have been here for 20 years, and I plan on being here for a 20 more plus years. Um, I'm so excited to raise my kids in this church. I love the leadership of the church. I love the heart of this church. It's my favorite church. <laughs> I'm New Promise's number one fan. <laughs> so how I came to New Promise, uh, it's um, through the amazing power of men's church league softball. Josh Edwards invited me to play 14 years ago, I don't know, somewhere around there, and uh, immediately got connected with an awesome group of guys, just really couldn't believe the community um, that was had there, and uh, a lot of the, the guys on the team uh, were in the youth group, and I always had a heart for youth, and uh, basically begged my way into a volunteer spot to, to work with those youth, and um, and I guess uh, the next thing maybe what New Promise means to me is really that open door into that community led to me meeting my wife and having now three kids and uh, through that 13 year journey of marriage has been just ups and downs with New Promise being right there with us through the thick and thin and uh, just if there's one word that kind of sums it up from start to finish it's community. Um, it's just an amazing, powerful thing uh, that's happening at New Promise, in my opinion. So what brought me there, you can say church league softball, but I'll say community. And uh, what it's meant to me is community. And obviously there's a lot of other things, but I think that, that one word is just something that I always come back to uh, when I think of New Promise. And it's a, it's a really cool thing they got going. My name is Mike Beardsley and I've been attending New Promise since December of 2007. I had a prophecy in 2006 when I was visiting, visiting a prayer meeting at New Promise that I would move from Michigan to Arizona and the Lord led me to do that and led me to New Promise and I'm so thankful to be part of a community of people who pray fast, seek God for revival um, and really are pursuing God's heart. I'm excited to be part of a community that is going somewhere together, and I'm thankful that you're part of this community. In um, 2006, a good friend of mine, Lynn Munsell, was running for governor. The New Promise had scheduled a, um, a prayer meeting for the election, and I decided to go. I um, drove up, parked, and as I was getting out of my car to go into the prayer meeting, uh, I noticed Rhonda had already parked her car and was walking into the prayer meeting also. Now I knew Kurt and Rhonda, but I probably just knew them in name only, and that was it. But as I saw Rhonda and I was walking into the prayer meeting, I had the Spirit of God speak to my spirit. I want you to be friends with those two. 
It was very strong and very powerful. I remember walking into the prayer meeting and looking for Kurt, and Kurt was lying on the, or was kneeling on the floor, praying. And I remember tapping him on the shoulder and saying this, Kurt, the Lord told me we're supposed to be friends. And he looked up at me and just kind of go, well, uh, okay, okay. And then went back and started praying again. Now that's not something I would ever recommend, but it was just so strong in me, I decided I'd, I'd just go ahead and tell him. Well, about, uh, about a year later, I was organizing a uh, young adults uh, discipleship training program. We we're gonna meet on Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday morning, but I had no place to do it. And then Kurt and Rhonda, uh, graciously opened up New Promise uh, building for the program. And at that time, I decided to come to church at New Promise. And I've been there ever since. I have a, and I have found actually a home and a family there. And I love it. Congratulations on your 20 year anniversary. Kurt and Rhonda, we are so excited for you. Thank you for your years of sacrifice and the many seeds that you have planted into Arizona. Our state and nation just wouldn't be the same without you. We're an amazing time of history, and God has chosen you to be here for such a time as this. And you are going to see an amazing next 20 years of much fruit in your lives. Continue to press in, continue to stay true, you are a blessing to the kingdom of God, and God has great plans in store for you. Kurt and Rhonda, we just want to say we are praying that in these next 20 years, you're going to see your heart's desires fulfilled. The prophecies that God has given over your life and ministry come to pass, and that you are going to finish strong. May your next 20 years be even better than before. God bless you. We love you. God bless you. We've been at New Promise for about a year and a half. We came after transitioning out of full-time ministry, really looking for a place that we could bring our family and heal and rest a little bit. And as soon as we walked in the doors on that very first Sunday, I knew that we found it. I knew that we were home. Yeah, one of the things that has impacted me the most about being at New Promise is being surrounded by like-minded people. Uh, whether it's my pit stop guys or Sunday to Sunday or even Tuesday night house of prayer, uh, I love being surrounded by people who value the presence of God. And I'm so excited to see what God's gonna do in the future and really am just very grateful to be at New Promise. Rick and Marsha Malakote here. We are so excited to be a part of New Promise. We can't begin to express our love for the church, our love for the staff, the way God has healed and the way he's moving in our lives together. We love it here. I'm thankful that we have found our place in our new home here. The staff is wonderful, their transparency, their vulnerability, they're willing to share their lives and their care and their love for their members. The community here, they're inclusive, they're warm, the church is full of joy. So thankful the Lord has placed us here and, and this is our new home. We love this church. I remember the first time I walked in and uh, we'd sort of been uh, visiting different churches for a while and uh, when we walked in it was just for us and I just want to say that I love New Promise I love what it stands for like at the most basic level of just going after God as a family as hard as we can and and really uh, doing it together and there are times where I've really borrowed from the faith of, of you guys of, of uh, you, Kurt and Rhonda, and you, Louie, and, uh, and many of the families when today, this morning, just so you know, I feel kind of weak and broken. And, um, and yet uh, I got a text from somebody and it, I was able to just borrow their faith for a little bit. And I just want to say that I love uh, this church. It means so much to me. Uh, Jen and I have probably never experienced church family like we are now, and we need it so much. Last night, someone came over when we were again feeling weak, and uh, um, it's so good to go after God with you. So we just want to say uh, we appreciate you, New Promise. Thank you for 25 years. We probably stepped in around year 19, and um, the last six years that we've enjoyed New Promise have been just fantastic. And um, 
and we're grateful. Happy anniversary, New Promise. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Uh, we're so excited to celebrate 20 years. Wow, Woo. that makes us a little old, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> we were there from the beginning. Scary. Uh, Mom and Dad, thank you so much for starting the church. Um, I don't have time to say everything and how it's affected my life, but um, you guys are amazing. Some things that we remember from the very beginning is um, you empowered us to be us and who God has called us to be, even in our immaturity. And um, you just provide a safe place for us to encounter God in the presence of God. And um, you stirred up hunger in us to go after God. And you showed us at a young age that God is fun and exciting and that there was nothing in the world that compared to the presence of God. And um, you instilled so much to us. You changed us and allowed us to then go change people and your fruit is huge and we love you and we love you. We totally love you. We're so grateful for everything you've done without you guys doing this church and taking a leap of faith. I know that not only do we have the ability to say that we have a covenant friendship, but there's so many others that you've yeah. allowed and given a safe place to really understand what that means and, yeah. and to run in those lanes. And so we're so grateful and we're so excited. 20 years! 20 years! Woo!